guys welcome back to my channel so i know i look completely different like this is a look that i've never done on my channel anything similar so i definitely wanted to uh come on here and film this look for you guys because i knew that i would end up loving it definitely regret not filming it so i decided you know what let me go down here let me do this look and let me film it that way you guys can see how i did this look because i know if i post like on snapchat or something you guys are going to ask me questions and then I won't really have you an answer of like how I did it because I don't have a tutorial. So I figured I would film it today. Um, and yeah, I'm just feeling this whole like sunset kind of summer beachy wet hair. So I decided to um, film this look for you guys. Uh, I did use the Morphe 29.8 palette. That is mainly what I use. Actually, everything on the eyes is Morphe. I use some of the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and then the Morphe 29.8 palette. And yeah, I hope you guys are excited for this look. You guys are excited to see something different on my channel. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this look, how I did it, then please keep watching. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I actually have no idea what kind of look we're going to do today. All I know is that I woke up and I was like super inspired by like a sunset. Remember, I think it was like last year, sometime around last year, I did a sunset eye and I didn't film it and I didn't take any pictures of it. But that's all I know is I can picture it in my mind and how I did it um, a little bit, except I used a different palette. But just looking up like sunset eyes and I just got really inspired and I came across this picture right here. I don't know if you guys can see that but it is a girl and she has like this beautiful like sunset eye except like I don't want to do it as dramatic because this is like definitely like more of a cut crease uh, version uh, but I want to use like kind of the lid color that she used but more like deeper this is kind of like a brighter neon uh, sunset eye and I kind of want to go like a little deeper like I want it to look like the sun is setting and you can see like the purplish in the back so that's kind of what I want to do today I don't know I just have this vision in my mind and I want to create it so we're gonna try to do that today I'm going to be using this Morphe 39A palette just because this palette has perfect colors for this kind of look that I'm trying to go for today so it has like all these beautiful like sunset colors right here so those are some of the colors that we are going to be using today i actually got these brushes in the mail and these are from beautybigbang.com and they look like this I set these to me and i was really excited because you guys know my favorite color is pink and then they have rose gold on them as well so i was like you know what i'm going to use these for today's video so the like i said these are from beautybigbang.com and that is the brand i guess they are like a more uh asian based brand because their logoing is in like chinese or uh japanese or whatever you call it so yeah i'm really excited these actually look exactly almost like the luxie beauty brushes except the luxie beauty is kind of like more bronze and these are like rose gold go ahead and set my eyelids with the primer um just so that our eyeshadows blend easier so i, I think i'm actually going to take i think i'm going to take this color right here this big one in the middle and I'm going to take that on a Royal Lane Eagle brush. This is my like favorite blending brush. And I'm going to put it like right here in the crease. And kind of just like blend it up towards the brow. So this is where it's going to start to get a little crazy. So I'm going to be taking this like orangey color. And I'm going to be mixing it with a little bit of this pink color on the same brush. And we are just going to blow this up into the crease. Like, I want it to be as dramatic as possible because that color is going to really define the crease as well. So I'm going to just take that very carefully. And go into the crease. And then just really blend it up. Adding in this color until I get it to be as pigmented as I want which it's usually with this second color that I normally take on my eyes I like it to be super pigmented just because like that is what is going to show through after you know you see the lid you're gonna see you know the crease so that is why I want it to be as pigmented as possible so these brushes actually don't have names on it which you know I'm not really a fan of that I usually like it to say you know define crease brush or blending crease brush or something on it but like these don't have actually anything on it so I'm actually going to be taking this brush it's kind of like a I would say like a denser blending brush and I'm going to be taking that pink color that we just used 
that hot hot pink color which is going to ruin these white bristles but I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it like right into the crease like right in there then after that I'm going to be taking this reddish color right here it's almost like a burgundy red color and I'm going to be taking that and putting that even more into the crease And I'm just putting this in the socket of the crease. I'm not like blending it up like this. I'm putting that only in the crease. And once I have a little bit less product, I'm actually going to add it in right here into the inner corner a little bit. I'm kind of going to create a halo eye. And I know some of the product is getting like right here, but we're going to clean that up in the center in just a second. I'm going to go in with this tiny little crease brush. And I'm going to be taking this like purpley brown color. It's more definitely more purple than brown, but it's like a deep, deep purple color. And this is really what's going to just make the look, I feel. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to like very precisely put this on the outer corner. And carefully put it in the crease. And then lightly put it over here on the inner corner. I'm going to take that real lay nickel brush and I'm going to just blend the edges because sometimes it can look a little harsh if it's not blended. So I'm just going to kind of just go around that purpley color. A little bit of my primer, this is the uh, soft ochre and I'm going to take like almost like a little concealer brush and I'm going to just put this right on the, I guess inner part of my lid. I'm not going to go all the way over here or all the way out. I'm just going to kind of just basically clean up the center of the lid with this that way when we ever we lay down that um, yellow color that I'm about to place it's going to just clean it up and make it stand out more versus just putting it on like this it'll probably just blend into the darker colors and we don't want that I don't know why this lighting keeps playing with me like every single time I film a video it keeps changing and it's really frustrating because I kind of think it's something along the lines of my settings but I've tried changing it and I don't really understand like I understand the camera I just don't understand why it keeps changing lighting like when I hold up certain products it changes lightings but it's not on auto so I really don't know and it's not on manual either so I don't know what's going on with this camera it is definitely more cleaned up you can see that there's a nice base I didn't know really what color to go in with just because like this palette doesn't have the exact color that I want to go in on the lid because I want it to be like you know look like a sunset so I want to look like the sun's like almost on the lid 29a palette from Morphe did not have a color that's um like yellowish except for this like almost antique gold uh green but I don't want to go in with that because it'll just like completely throw off the look and plus I want it to be a matte color so I think I'm gonna go in with this color right here this is actually from the Jaclyn Hill palette um, her Morphe palette and Jaclyn Hill. I'm going to go in with a color Creamsicle, which is this color right here. This like yellowish pukey color. So pretty. So I'm going to take that on the same brush, that little concealer brush, and I'm going to just pack this on the lid. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I want. I, I actually thought that this color wasn't going to work out, but it's actually really pretty and pigmented. Actually going to take a little bit of this creamsicle color that we used on the lid and I'm just going to kind of just like throw that up here to make it look more like yellowish yeah that, that works out better because it's like looking too pink up here and I don't want that like I want it to look more more yellowish orangey And throwing it right over that pink actually gives it the right amount of like oranginess. I'm going to go back in with this little detailed brush and I'm going to be taking that dark purple color that we kind of like did this halo with. And I'm going to just blend these colors together because it's looking a little harsh. So you see how like this eye definitely looks more blended and this eye is like, you know, all sharpness. Um, I want those colors to just blend. With Creamsicle from the Jaclyn Hill palette this yellowy color right here and I'm just going to pack that on a little bit more 
So the lids are pretty much done. This is exactly what I wanted to do. So I'm actually just going to line my eyes. I'm just going to do like a regular liner. I'm not going to do wing or anything like that. I'm just going to line my eyes. And this is the Schwing liquid liner from the Balm Cosmetics. And I'm just going to basically draw just, you know, a really thin line. The definition, but I don't want it to take away from the shadow. You know what I mean? And I'm going to throw on these lashes. These are actually from Amazon. I know I've mentioned these before, but these are the Mink Fur Lashes. And these just come in the bundle. These are from Professional... I don't even know how to say that, but I will link them down below. These are super big and wispy. And I kind of want to do, like, big lashes today. I don't know why. Just kind of fill in it. But hopefully these don't, like, take up, you know, the whole eyelid and take away from the actual um, eyeshadow. So I'm going to just, like these down yeah these are gonna look really pretty with this okay yeah I'm gonna do these you see how they're like all one length but they're like super like fluffy too I'm like so jittery right now like can you see my hand shaking I don't know why I think it's because like um I had coffee and I didn't really eat that much so like whenever I drink coffee and I don't eat like I get super jittery like my hands shake like if I was to do winged eyeliner right now it'd be so jacked up like not even funny so much for the sunset eye it's literally raining outside like literally pouring down raining so hopefully like my makeup doesn't get ruined in the rain because it's no longer gonna be a sunset eye it's gonna be like a muddy eye <laughs> now that the lashes are done we're gonna move on to the face and then we're gonna just really smoke out this lower lash line but for right now we're gonna move on to the rest of the face i'm going to continue on with the actual face makeup these are my two favorite primers i know i use these in every single tutorial but you guys i've tried to use different primers and i just i just can't like i can't get enough of these i went to sephora and got a sample of the smoothing pour tart one I think it's called Tarte Smoothing Primer or something like that. It comes in like an actual jar. Rumor has it that that is better than Benefit Professional. But in my opinion, I don't like it. Like, I like it, but I don't like it. Like, I don't know if that makes sense. But the main reason why I don't like it is because, like, when you apply it, it almost feels like it's super thick and it almost feels sticky. And it's almost like hard to blend out on your skin. I used it for like four days. And I actually think that that's why I have this big breakout. Because I think it broke me out. Because I only put it like right here. And it broke out right here. But I don't know. I just, I'm not a fan of it. And I'm glad that I didn't buy it. Because I actually was. And then I was like, no, you know what? Let me at least try a sample of it first. Before I, you know, spend the money on it. And thankfully I didn't buy it. I'm going to be taking a old foundation that I really used to love and I still love to this day. I just don't wear it as much just because like I've been changing so much with how I want my foundation to be or how I want my foundation to work and I haven't been really liking matte foundations but I do still use this once in a while. This is the Double Wear Foundation by Estee Lauder. If you have oily skin or have problems with your, your um, face getting oily throughout the day, um, and lasting, definitely Double Wear by Estee Lauder is a foundation to go for. I recommend this to any client that I have that has oily skin um, or um, their foundation doesn't last but they have oily skin. I always recommend this foundation to them because it's just such a good foundation and it's full coverage. So, I mean, who doesn't like a full coverage long wearing foundation? We are going for our full coverage look today. I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape. You guys know I love this stuff. It's so good. If you haven't tried it, definitely recommend it. Um, I actually saw a girl uh, recently use this for her whole entire face. And I was like, I should try that. Because I really love Tarte Shape Tape. I'm just obsessed with it. But I actually saw her use it as foundation for like a lighter day. Like, you know what I mean? Instead of like using just powder or whatever, she used this all over her face. And then threw some powder on top. I was like... Hmm, I should try that out. Like the point of it and just kind of like try to clean this up. I actually forgot to tell you guys, I feel like I haven't like actually talked to you guys, but um, I finally started Vampire Diaries. Me and Ricardo have been watching it and oh 
my god it's so good i didn't think i was gonna like it because to be honest before i started watching scandal um i tried to watch vampire diaries but i only watched like the first episode and then i felt like i got a little bored so i stopped watching it and i never went past the first episode but then like my friends have been telling me that it's really good and i need to watch it um so i was like one day i just decided to watch it on my laptop and i watched the first episode and i was like how come I couldn't get into this the first time? So then I started watching it and then Ricardo wanted to watch it with me. So we started watching it and now we're addicted. Every single day that we come home, we can't stop thinking about it. So we turn on the TV as soon as we get home and we watch it. And it sucks because like today I work, you know, a full shift. So I can't watch it until I get home after nine. And then like we don't watch it without each other. So like when he's at work, I have to wait till he gets home because I don't want to watch it without him because then I'm gonna have to catch him up on what happened. And I suck at like explaining what happened. Like, you know what I mean? So we just wait till each other is home and then we watch it, but it's just so good. Right now we're barely on the second season. We just finished the first season last night because we started watching it, I believe it was Sunday, Sunday or Monday, I can't remember but um we've been watching it every single day <laughs> and we usually stay up to like 11 or 12 watching it because it's just so good and it and it sucks because like with vampire diaries it kind of reminds me of scandal like each ending episode leaves you at suspense so you want to watch the the second one you know what i mean you want to wa watch the one right after it and it just leaves you in suspense so that we just watched last night it was so good it was like the season finale uh, where like Catherine comes back and uh she like um what's it called she visited the uncle um which is really elena's dad and she like chopped off his finger and then she kissed damon but damon thought it was elena i was like what? i thought she was literally like about to cheat on stefan you know what i mean i was like oh my god like it, i don't know it's just so good if you guys haven't watched vampire diaries you definitely should kind of sucks because i heard that there is no more vampire diaries i heard that it's up to season eight and that's it which sucks so much but um yeah it's like my second scandal now to be honest i haven't watched scandal in literally forever i think the last uh season that i saw with scandal was i think season seven or something like that i haven't watched it in a hot minute just because like i honestly forget when it comes out like the last the last season that i watched i couldn't remember um when it was going to come back on and then i did and then i never rewatched it and i just missed out on a lot of episodes so then i just like honestly stopped watching it because i think the last season that i ever watched from it it was honestly starting to get super boring that's why i stopped watching it too it a little boring like with the walking dead got a little boring too and then it got good and then it got boring so some shows just get boring and then they don't know what to um, do as far as like you know making other seasons so they kind of keep repeating themselves and it gets boring for people so yeah anyways I'm going to bronze my skin with the Tom Ford bronzer um, but yeah if you guys have watched Vampire Diaries please don't spill it for me because like I said I'm barely in the second season but um, I just like I don't know I keep thinking about it and like literally I want to go and watch it right now but i guess it's a good thing that i can't watch it right now because ricardo's not home um because i wouldn't be filming this video i'll literally be binge watching vampire diaries right now today i was watching um i believe it was tina halada i think that's how you say her last name uh she was talking about how she doesn't contour her nose because she says her, her nose is too big which like I totally feel like I try to contour my nose all the time and it never really works out because I just feel like it's too big like if that makes sense so I, I like try to like slim it down to make it look smaller but I feel like it just honestly makes it worse but um I've been trying to contour my nose a new way like I normally like just do the sides and then I like bake so that it gives more of a like definition I don't know if that makes sense but guys it just sucks when you have a big nose like I feel like I don't have those like pretty skinny nose that some people have like this part of my nose is just like so fat even if I contour it it just it doesn't work out it just looks muddy and weird and like I can totally relate to her when she talks about like her nose being too big to contour because like some people that actually contour their nose I feel like they don't even need it like you know what I mean like they have the prettiest noses like um 
Carly Bible, for instance, she contours her nose a lot. And, like, her without contouring her nose, she still has a pretty nose. She just, like, contours it to make it look um more visible like if you know what i mean instead of like just having contour and like definition here it looks kind of flat here so she adds contour there but she always used to talk about how she hated her nose and how she used to like use all this different stuff to make her nose skinnier and i'm like her nose is like beautiful like i wish i had that kind of nose you know rockator blush i've been using this blush pretty much every single day with every single look but i just love how like pretty and like subtle it is like usually i use really um what's it called picnic to blushes but lately i've been just really loving this like subtle flush of color and it's just like the perfect color like it's not too peak not too coral not too neutral it's just like beautiful take this like fat brush i'm going to like dust this away because i don't want it to bake on my nose too long because then if it bakes on there too long it can kind of look kind of dry highlighter i'm not going to be using the bomb cosmetics highlighter i'm actually going to be using my anastasia glow kit i got this for christmas and to be honest like i never really use it that much or did i get this for christmas or my birthday i think it was actually maybe for my birthday no for christmas no for my birthday i think i don't know i just know my sister got it for me um and i never really use it just because like I don't know like I get discouraged with these two colors right here because they're so dark but I need to like break out this palette more because I know I used to really love these two so I'm going to be using the color summer and midstone and I remember I used to really love those mixed and I'm going to be taking it on a morphe m501 brush and I'm going to just highlight the cheeks I really wanted to use this palette too because these highlighters are like very intense and since we are doing like the sunset dramatic look I figured why not add the glow yeah this palette is so pretty I don't know why I don't use this that much but I'm definitely gonna start using this palette more I do have two glow kits this is my second one and I really love the first one but I feel like the actual texture of these are a lot better than the first one that I have because the first one is just like almost like chunky chunky glitter to be taking this like I guess liner brush from this little pink set and I'm going to be taking the darkest purpley color that we use like right here I'm going to just line my lower lash line with this and the lower lash line is going to be very very intense so get prepared and after that I'm going to take this like pinkish color that we used right above the crease and I'm going to throw that underneath the lower lashes and this is where I'm going to begin intensifying and just smoking this lower lash line out this brush because it's more smaller and I'm going to go in with the pinkish color that we used at first and an orangey color those two colors that we use and I'm going to just like throw this right underneath I feel like this look is almost giving me like vampire vibes I don't know if it's just because I'm obsessed with vampire diaries now or what so I kind of want to use like a yellowish highlighter to go in the inner parts of our eyes just to brighten it up and make it look more I don't know like I want it to kind of match the lid so I'm gonna go back in with this palette right here and I'm only going to be using this color which is called summer and I'm going to just throw that in right there to help brighten that look up I feel like this looks so weird without like bottom mascara but we're going to add some in just a second I'm also going to like throw this right up here the brow bone I never put like a shimmery color up there just because like I feel like it makes me look oily but today today we're being very different but really quick I'm gonna kind of take my time with this because I want my lower lashes to be um, very coated because I feel like it just it just needs that definition there so I'm going to do that really quick and then I will be right back okay. um, I'm going to add on a little bit more mascara but I'm going to wait until this kind of dries because it's just like kind of going everywhere I had no idea what kind of lip I wanted to do but I think I want to do kind of like this orangey lip I was kind of thinking purple but then I feel like it would just be too much you know, and I really want the purple on the lids to kind of stand out. So I think I'm going to go in with this color. It's like 
almost like an orangey color i don't know i feel like it would just really match up here a little bit so this is the color um this is like super old by the way i have had this for like a year or so um this is the color instigator if you guys you know have been around you've seen me use this on my channel like way back when i first started using color pop um so yeah this is the color instigator and i'm going to apply this to the lips so this is the finished look i hope you guys really enjoyed this random inspired video i don't know i've just been really inspired by the sunset and the weather lately so i decided to do this look so yeah if you guys enjoyed please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell down below because that will notify you every single time i upload because sometimes i know with you know the whole youtube settings and stuff things are kind of changing so if you don't hit that uh, bell you won't be notified every single time I upload so definitely don't want you guys to miss any of my videos if you guys enjoy watching my videos but yeah that is gonna be it and I will see you guys in my next one